Oh, you were the one who suggested it. Like when I was having a video from you were like, Wanna well, maybe just do it live? I thought you were doing YouTube live. No, I'm gonna Facebook. get on Facebook so I can see if people post nasty comments. That's what Jeff is on. He's gonna get on Facebook. Yeah, That's well, the plan. I'm gonna also get on Facebook. With your low gonna, battery. With my low battery. We're gonna yell at Tim for Where being is in Tim? Tennessee and eating KFC Tennessee? for Atlanta? some reason. He said it was in Atlanta. He was in Atlanta. He said he was, he was in like. His wife just said Atlanta. I don't know. She oh. called. Maybe they were Is driving. she there too? No. Or she, she, said, she just hit a deer. So. Oh. oh. I got the brother call of like. Maybe they my were. My that last week. She hit two. Maybe. No. So she hit one and then one deer hit her. Um, That's about what happened. It ran into her. Maybe they were driving through Tennessee because it says that Tim. If you're watching, it says he was in Chattanooga, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Don't watch I'm, it. I'm not. I'm trying to get um, the sound off. That's Sorry. too. That's way too meta. You're watching us. No, she's online. watching. I'm she's, watching the comments. I'm yeah. trying oh, to get the comments. But she had the sound on. No, it's, I wasn't trying to get the sound on. almost as bad as you watching the Now there's only one person car. watching because you're mocking the fact of the pot of this being on. No, Facebook. I'm mocking you. It it's off. different. Anyway, it says Tim was in Chattanooga, Tennessee two hours ago at the Moon Pie General Store. And before that, he was in Corbin, Kentucky at the original KFC and Colonel Sanders Museum. There's a museum? There is. He has pictures of it. I hope that he bought a replica suit. I think Tim could rock out a Colonel Sanders Colonel suit. Colonel Sanders? I mean, yeah, I could, he could do it. Let's hope he brings back the Moon Pie. Oh, yeah, that's true, too. What is that? You've had those, like, chocolate-covered things under the counter for, for weeks. Are we going to dig it? I'm afraid to eat. more set up. I forgot I reset it. There's something from Baltimore. Oh, are those like those goo cluster things? No. Goo goo cluster? Yeah, those are good. They look like them. Now, these are yeah. Berger cookies chocolate creams. I don't know. I don't know. My cousin brought them because she's like, she lives in Baltimore. They look good. It's a Baltimore thing, I guess. You like a Berger? No. Hey, Christy, go. Go grab the floor cheese. I'm not grabbing the floor oh. cheese. I will. Is Are that you? edible? It's edible. It's Is just, it just one block of chocolate now? It looks like Did a they burger together. They, they bur What's the new word for burger? Burger. The what? typo that everyone's making the burger joke this week. Oh. Because of Trump's typo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that? oh for the, the, was it Clemson who came to see him yeah. and he gave him a bunch of burgers? <laughs> yeah. Burger. But I saw salads on the table, so he was trying to balance that is it out. There are salads. Mm -hmm. okay. If you're doing good, you ate pizza, now you're eating chocolate cookies. Mm -hmm. And they sort of match your nail polish. A little bit. There's a lot of chocolate on that cookie. Yeah, that is a lot. That's good. Is it? You sure you don't want one? Yeah, I'm good. It, like, it seems like a mommy type stuff. It looks snack. like a pile of chocolate. What's wrong with that? Reminds me of um, one of the ho hos type cookies that Hostess mm -hmm. used to make. It's like that without the cream in the center. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. William, you know, I was at Aldi's the other day. Mm -hmm. and they had the off brand there. Yeah, no, I saw off brand Swiss cake rolls. William wants those in the worst way. And I have to say that I was Actually, tempted. You know the cookies they have, like right when you walk in, that are like 98 cents? Mm -hmm. They're Girl Scout cookies. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like, we've tried all of them, they're Girl Scout cookies. Every single one of them. It's like 90, I don't even know how much Girl Scout cookies cost anymore. Like five They're really bucks. expensive. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 98 cents. All these. It's pretty great. Like yeah. Thin Mints. Yeah, they've got it. Thin Mints, Peanut so Butters. What are the, the coconut caramel? I don't know what those are called. But anyways, Samoas, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. They have those. Yeah. Yeah, but no. It's so can we buy them and then sell yeah. them for $5 here? Yes. Put them in a right wrapper box. Mm-hmm. Capitalism. Only like if you wear Girl Scout uniforms, though. I don't, I don't know if I have the figure for that. We'll, we'll see. Go I, for I it. didn't do a ridiculous rap video today, and I was, the entire time I was making it, I was like, I can't tell if this is stupid funny or just like I've crossed the line of the line. clear stupid. But that, that did transpire today. Did you, did you watch it? rap video. Did you watch it? It was, um, it was something. But I mean, was it like hard to watch? Or no, it was pretty funny. It was funny. It was okay. pretty funny. Okay. I mean, I always go. All right. Good to know, because I was like really, I wasn't sure. 
I also might suggest that Jeff has a little too much time on his hands these days. But you need a hobby. I've got the, I've got an empty house right now. It's a little scary. Like I'm not sure what I'm going to end up doing. Empty like, house. Jeff's making mixtapes. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. That's cool. Um, I did a, and it was accurate. The thing at the end of the video is like, because there's a government shutdown joke in it, and I made the song and recorded it on Monday, and there was a big part of me that was like. Oh no, what if like the shutdown ends before I can get this video up? Right? It was not an issue. Mm-hmm. You got that figured out over there yet? I'm um, almost there. My computer's really blue. It is very blue. Yeah, it used to be my children. So. Yeah. You got the kids hand me down? I yeah. did. He yeah. did. Oh my goodness. So I stopped stealing from my daughter. <laughs> well, it's okay. William got a new one. I mean, I've never seen kids not. I thought they loved computers for Christmas gifts. We got them laptops. We got them both Chromebooks for Christmas. And they're just like, like, whatever. Really? Yeah, and so we're just like, here, Jeff, you can have this one. Oh, okay. and so William and Goldie and both got My kids hair. want uh, AirPods right now. The, like, weird no, yeah. things. They yeah. wanted those, and I convinced them they were stupid, and they got, like, better like ones. Well, I've watched, I don't know how many sets of iPod earphones. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, I don't, this is a good idea, guys. <laughs> like, I don't think these ones are gonna handle the washing machine. <laughs> What's crazy though is those Apple iPhone or earbuds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those dudes can handle going through the washing oh, machine. I oh, yeah, I've right. washed theirs. I don't know how many times. My daughter yeah. leaves everything in the pocket. Yeah, yeah that's what is ours. Yeah, they always. It's like they always get. I, I'm always thinking bobby pins. Yes, out of everything. Yes, and I'm worried with the bobby pins in the washing machine if they fall inside the gears. I'm like, yeah. God. Every time I pull my pay in. It's a losing battle. So, yeah. The cats play with them as toys and you just find them everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I know. My sister got a little Bluetooth one, but our off brand. And uh, William's already lost his, hasn't he? I haven't seen it for a couple of days. But the first day or two, he walked around and he didn't even have a device because they'd been taken away from him. Pretending he was like an executive taking calls, like salary negotiating. He's like, no, a million dollars is too low for my salary. I will not accept a million dollars. Well, he also did the pretend to be a secret service agent. That's right. Yeah. 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 That's a good move with those. It is a good move with those. We're going to Washington, D.C. in March, though. And I'm a little bit afraid of him, like in federal buildings. Like we won't go see the White House right now. I'm like, yeah, yeah you and President Trump. I know he's not around when we do the White House tour, but I don't. I don't want know what you're gonna say. So I, <laughs> so I still want to get him a weekly show. Like, oh, the what grinds my gears? Yes, with William. I think he would be fantastic with that. So <laughs> it would be very good. It could be like the angry kid president. Oh, it would be. <laughs> oh, it totally would be. Oh man, that kid. Kid president's pretty. Oh yeah, that's a good yeah. bit. Is he still doing that, or did he is he too old now? Or? I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna look it up later. With the current, this is Rad Raptor Radio, though. I'm Jeff. Oh come on, man! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I always go. Last. I just fill like, in. I'm Andrew. I'm Christy. I'm Bobby. Uh, Tim. It's your move to always last. <laughs> also, I've never sat next to you. Next, to you. usually Tim. It's nice, this, isn't it? It's both nice and it's it's a bit much. So well, here, like, you're getting all the heat. I'm not getting any of it. Yeah, take more of it. Right. It's the back, the bit turbo. Yeah, it's the one heater we can run in here without it just making colossal noise. While we're trying well, to it is January in Michigan, and you're wearing t-shirts. Andrew's probably wearing sandals. I didn't wear my flip flops today. I thought about it though. No, he's wearing his new shoes that what I you made me get buy. after yeah. four years of wearing old ones that. Okay. I, I wouldn't wear. I don't like shoes. It's true. I wouldn't yeah. wear them. You get Bobby. Yeah. You got those. You got Deadpool. They're yeah. Deadpool yeah. shoes. Yeah. Where did you get those? Santa. No, that's not helpful. Uh-huh. Everybody wanted to know on Facebook, like where they could literally buy them. And I got them from Santa. I don't so know. Santa. Yeah. Can you like write I think you Santa probably, a letter and ask Santa? You probably can text Santa and find out. To be yeah. honest. Yeah. So. I, that, to do that. I think the elves. Put them together in the shop. I think that's what happened. So they're one of a kind. No one can yeah. buy them. And no one yeah. else like Deadpool too. Yeah, elves love Deadpool. Why that not? would be a great movie. That actually would be. Pretty that cool would be movie. a really great movie. Like a Christmas Dead- Deadpool. Yeah, Christmas Deadpool. Deadpool in the North Pole. That needs to exist. Like, yeah. Like, Deadpool saves like, Christmas. Yeah, Deadpool, Deadpool saves, saves Christmas. Oh. I want that. Bobby, well, you're, you're the resident Deadpool expert. I mean, I don't 
Yeah, you own Lord. two New Mutants 98s now. I do. I do. So you have the authority to make those Did happen. you see that, uh, those Liefeld pictures where it was find your Rob Liefeld yeah. comic book character? <laughs> did you yeah. see those, Andrew? Uh, I did not. It no. was one of those dumb internet, like, uh, if your first name starts with this, it's this one. Oh, so yeah, yeah, But it was your Rob Liefeld superhero name. Yeah. And it was amazing. <laughs> well, people started drawing them, too. Did you see did that? They, oh, yeah, they, they the, started drawing did them. Did they characters. all have really tiny feet? <laughs> <laughs> really bad feet. Really yeah. bad feet, yeah. Lots of pouches. Bad feet. So, no, no, I think mine was, like, Blood Strike or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that was my favorite, too. I don't remember. But, no, it was cool, though. I mean, I think it's fun when people do shit like that. He's apparently going to be writing. There's a big announcement coming up. He's going to be writing a massive X-Men like crossover event this year. I felt it. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> well, it's funny because people were talking shit about the whole name thing. So then, of course, they put on the Captain America that he drew with the, <laughs> the chest that's like way out. And it's like I felt was just having a bad day on that one. <laughs> but you see yeah. the like. Oh, was it? another book there is whatever last year they made the hero making fun of him the pouch and it was a guy that was like nothing but yeah. pouches mm -hmm. that's pretty great yeah I tried getting that book and I'm like I'm not spending 20 bucks on this thing just because it gets ridiculous what was the dude's name was the pouch yeah yeah. Uh, it's like uh, detective this week like the B cover is blown up and that super cat woman cover has gotten ridiculous and we're like back in an hour there's one to two books every week that their covers blow up and go crazy yeah. Well, I just saw that uh, that Red Hood over the the annual the Batman fight. Mm -hmm. That went up to forty bucks. Forty it's, bucks? Yeah. The, and the, it's the, um, the B cover. Or? The B cover. It's um, oh, what's her name? Yasmin Future. 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 Sure. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Anyways, but she's the one that's been doing all of those, and I think she did some Nightwing covers. Okay. But it's her first. It was her first cover, so. So that's why. It yeah. So it's yeah, it's taken off a little bit. Mm -hmm. The Catwoman one was rough because we just we didn't have many of them, and it was I think Wednesday last week it started, where we we're going uh, through and trying to like people started calling and bugging me like, hey, can I get that? Hey, can right. I get that? And I was like, I don't know. We got like pulls to fill. Right. So Andrew and I are doing pulls yesterday, and we're trying to like. Decide who gets one. Decide who gets the Catwoman cover. And so we're like, all right, let's look at who all wants one. And we'll, there on the list was one Tim Ambrose. And we were like, fuck this guy. <laughs> I had so many shitty things about Catwoman while we were trying to get it on the top ten list. Yeah. Right. No cover for you, man. He did not get one. Yeah. No. That did not happen. Well, no. wherever he's at with Colonel Sanders, maybe they had one. Yeah. <laughs> It was a good, I think a lot of people didn't order a lot of them too. Right, it's probably one it's of the. It's a really pretty it cover. Really pretty yeah. cool. I didn't see this one. It's not. It's not art jam. No, no, no it's it's not. Oliver is the last name. Yeah, okay. something to Oliver. Yeah, but it's. I mean, it's really pretty. It's good. Yeah. I think my favorite one they've had so far. Hmm. No, I, I still like four. Four is it's really four really good. Like face. The That's the one that looks like it is a picture. Is it with the like, the one yeah. face? Yeah, yeah, that one's really good. Yeah. yeah. And the like mask thing, and then I like five oh, two the dress. Yeah. Five's the dress one, right? I think so. The yeah. Archer one. Yeah. And then I hate the Santa one. I yeah, think that, that one's one. ridiculous and yeah. has like no thing. Like especially because like now I've I've got a few left. I'm like, well, I guess I'll put these away till next year. You know. It's one of those. It's twenty bucks today. Tomorrow it's gonna be fifteen. The day after it's gonna be ten. And right. And the month come out, somebody will bring them in for something. Yeah, <laughs> like, like oh, yeah, more of these. Okay. Yeah. Right. Speaking of which, I've got uh, another full set of die covers. If you're looking uh, for the biggest like hero to zero thing from last year. Oh, the I, I have those. Yeah, I know everyone does. Yeah, but I've got another full set because we, oh. we bought it this week. So. Right. I remember when those came in. And you, I just took those two, and I was like, I'll take these two. And then and that's the, the two that blew up. Yeah. I should have sold them. Die, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Not, not die, sorry. Yeah. Die, die, die. Yeah. Um, die is really good. Die, 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 not so much. That's not confusing at all. Thanks, comic books. Right. Um, 
Especially when we're doing polls, it's like, okay, we'll have a die and a die, die, die. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody actually read die, die, die? We do have we one do. customer yeah. who reads die, 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 and die. It started yeah. out really cool, <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Um, it, yeah. it, like, it bugged me. Like, it should have been better. It's Robert Kirkman, and he had some pedigree. It started out cool, though, when you found out the dude was a triplet. Yeah. I mean, that was cool. Well, I love the idea of like well, when he cuts off his own nose to look like the other guy. It's like this is a little messed up, right? Like a little. <laughs> <laughs> is, yeah, like you're taking this a little far. Uh, but the I also love how that book just showed up out of nowhere. I wish they'd do that more often. That was really cool of like hey, just tying it to another book. But yeah, I wish they'd do that with the books they have. I like more those, and I like the Marvel variants that they hide. Oh like yeah, the, like the you know like the. Venom with the tongue and the uh, the, the, the Infinity, Infinity War. War one. Yeah. I wonder if Tim got that one for his checklist. <laughs> That's we not on the checklist. Hey. Right. So we, uh, Bobby and I did the math the other day. Yeah, you're not allowed to uh, say it, but we're gonna get him in so much shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Jim just hit a deer, so she's not watching. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> she probably already knows anyway. Yeah. But I was talking to Jim the other day, and it turned out that both Tim and I had the same. Uh, assignment over uh, the Christmas holidays, which, which was to organize our comic books and come up with some sort of system yeah, of but you actually them. Did, it. did Tim do it? I don't know. <laughs> I, know I know he, he sorted through some of them. I know he kept coming yes. back for short boxes, and he kept yes. sending Jen back for short. He'd be like, I need another box. <laughs> yes. That, that okay? like, yeah, it's fine. And he would send us through, like, I have the full event from three years ago. Yeah, great tip. But anyway, Bob, we're like yeah. all the pictures. I did read something by Mark Russell. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it was Judge Dredd. But yeah, Bobby and I did the math the other day between the countdown and the full uh, Infinity War series with the tie-ins, not counting whether he bought any variants or anything, uh, close to two hundred dollars on Infinity War. Yeah. I don't even think we got all of them either. I don't I think, think we did. Yeah, I think we missed some, but I mean it was. <laughs> Yeah, and he's on something you don't even yeah. like. And I'm going to tell you right now, he t he swears that he's not going to to do the War of the Realms. Oh, he's gonna. Uh, he's gonna because I'm going to show up like the first week or two and be like, here, here's Phoenix Wolverine, and he's just going to start buying them. Well, they keep dragging more every time I look. There's something else they're dragging into this War of the Realms, yeah. and I've seen it, like Venom's got the sword, and I'm like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Now you figured out why they do events. Oh, <laughs> well, and it's Jason Aaron, so it's probably going to be good, but I don't know. That Conan book's great. Yeah, well, I mean, if they would just do, like, DC does, like, Heroes in Crisis, nine books, right? Yeah. And they may, I, I guess we are getting a tie into the Flash and Batman thing, but it's a short thing. You know, fine, you can have a good event, but anymore when you have. With Infinity War, six main books and sixteen tie-ins and sixteen countdown, and it was just like, and how much hunting for Wolverine that we did last year? Oh my God, I still have a short box back there. There is awesome. a, yeah. sixteen books. That's bad. Books. I read that's all the books? hunt books, and I've read I think two of the Return. I, I read, haven't even read the last two. I read three. I was gonna read four today before today, and then I just couldn't bring myself just to do it. 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 Just, well, I would. I said as I was avoiding all those hunt for books, and we thought about it on the show every time. I kept saying like, "I'll read it when we're actually at like him showing up," and so that's what I've been doing. And then this week I just couldn't. We've been it. reading. We didn't read. Four. I didn't get four. For what? Return of Wolverine. Have I been reading Return of Wolverine? Yeah, you've been reading it. And you don't even remember that so uh, That's. I don't <laughs> remember it. I it's know. bad. It His is. claws are hot. I don't remember. All Wolverine's I, got those hot I have balls. a vague <laughs> idea that he's coming back, and I'm happy about that, but I don't remember anything related to that. <laughs> no. No explanation. I think it's one I read as I'm falling asleep at night, and it's like, oh yeah. That's a good one to like fall asleep and fall asleep on, and not care when you wake up in the morning. And I still give that to Logan every time it comes out, and she gets so excited because she runs around and like, it's like, hey, this is the book. It's named after me, or I'm not named after it, or so, you know. I don't think she actually reads it, so. Still enthusiastic about X-23. And that's when it's okay for her to mess up. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it's not that great, so. I'm gonna, like, 
when we get those second prints of X twenty three seven, I think I might like ninja into her room and just like quietly switch it. Head switch. Leave that there. <laughs> She's gonna know. Yeah. If she yeah. does, I'm gonna tell her. Thanks, Ben. Book <laughs> <laughs> strip. Well, I was talking to someone today about like, you know, because I still wanna like I wanna get a next three for her, and I wanna get a. Good luck. <laughs> right. And I want to get a You might want to wait a few years to get rid of that one. <laughs> right, and I want to get a Batman Adventures 12 for Peyton. But, like, even with Peyton, I'm slightly worried about... And Peyton's super responsible, so I don't need to be worried. But I'm still worried about that moment of just going, like, where's your book? It's like, I traded it. What, it. what do you mean? What do you mean you traded it? took me, like, five years to track that down at a price I could have... What do you mean you traded it? Uh, which is how that would probably go down. So I might just right. get those for them and then keep them with like clearly labeled like get, them, get it graded you know just so yep. it's you know you can't mess it up so much and, yeah. and then like it'll, this will stay with my stuff for a few years so you can but if you yeah. grade it and you frame it it's less likely to be traded because it's such a pain to take it out of all of that especially if I like attach it to the wall yeah <laughs> <laughs> like no this is not not coming out you can enjoy it in your room and stare at it on the wall <laughs> It's cool. People can say hi to us. Oh, that is kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it a little more awkward for you next time. <laughs> yeah. no Appreciate problem. it. I got it. Yeah. I'm here for you. That's great. So you, we're at like any day now, right? Yes, any day. Like, we could have. Uh, scheduled to be induced, but we're trying to really avoid a C-section if possible just because of recovery. Yeah. So well, our um, listeners, Bobby's wife is about to have a baby. Oh my god, she's absolutely miserable right now. Yeah. yeah. It's just, yeah, it's, we already have Friday planned. It's like, okay, we're going to go walk and do as much walking as her feet can handle. I mean, poor thing, her feet are just, she's going to, like, I mean, pregnant women, you know, their hands swell, their feet swell. Hers are on, like, 12 right now, because it's just, I feel horrible, like, even socks, like, yeah, she's, yesterday she's like, you have a new pair of socks? Yeah, it's like, do you just want mine? <laughs> you know, and it's, yeah. it's, I, I feel horrible for her, you know, it's, yeah. it's like, it's one of those things, like, going through this, and, and stuff. I'm so glad I was born with the other parts. Like, I just <laughs> don't want any part of what you're having to deal with. And but it's just, That's oh. why I've never wanted to go through it. Yeah. 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 The yeah. dude end of that, it's such an unfair deal. Because, like, it's literally as a dude, you're just like, it's that I get to do my favorite thing ever for, you know, minutes. <laughs> and then nine months later of your, <laughs> like, misery, we have a baby. It's yeah. great. Well, it's all good. <laughs> the doctor's trying to figure out, you know, well, you know, we could set up to induce on your actual due date, um, or we can do this, or we can do that. And, and she's looking at me, you know, like, well, what do you, you know, what do you, and I'm like, I'm just along for the ride. It's like, whatever, you know, if you want to wait, we can wait, and all that. It's one of those things where, uh, yeah, it, it's her choice, you know. Yeah. I'm like, whatever you want to do. And it's funny because it's like, no, really, like, I am just along for the ride. Like, this is completely, like, just depending on what, what your body decides, you know. But, oh, it's, I mean, it's any day now, but I'm hoping it's soon. We kind of figured with the snow that's supposed to come on Saturday. Yeah, it'll be sad. I'm going to be at work, and yeah. there's going to be that, oh, my God, my water broke at home now, and I'll probably You're gonna be, be driving just through covered like, in every chemical known to man I work with. And, yeah. You know, but we'll see, like I said, but... Yeah. Cody says she's miserable. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you know, I mean interactivity. Right. You I mean, should ask cool. while she's on if she, you can bring her anything home tonight. It's like a uh, burgers. Yeah. Like a bur Would, Cody, you want me to send these like burger cookie yeah. things home? Like it literally looks like a box of shit wrapped in stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Bring, bring something it's nicer. a Baltimore yeah. delicacy. Or right. Cody, would you like some floor cheese? No, something's better than that. <laughs> no, actually, her only real major craving she's had is uh, sweet tea. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I couldn't see that. I love sweet like, cheese. Like, that's cheese. been yeah. the big, you know, like, it's mm-hmm. a lot of cheese. Um, we had to do a uh, half and half tea from McDonald's. She got on yeah. that. And then we went to raspberry tea. Now we're back to unsweetened tea. But that's that's been the big thing is, like, make sure there's tea at the house. You know, but other than oh, that, yeah. I mean, she's been... Oh, see? There we go. Ice cream Sunday. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. It's like I'm going through McDonald's. <laughs> if, it's, if it's early enough, I'll hit spot yeah. a cow. Oh, man. Wait, can you get them on here so maybe I can get some free ones? Let's yeah, play. yeah. I like oh, get some spot spot cow. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. great. You know? And this, we, I will eat like, their ice cream on camera. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's fun. We've got, in the next, like, I think eight weeks, we should have three shop babies. Because um, they, there's like two, like the major whole, like good customers. Oh, I was like, like do you know something I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Surprise! <laughs> uh, no, there's uh, uh, Marissa's. Yeah. yeah, Marissa's, and then the one we are talking about. Oh, yeah. Too. So, it, like, and it's fun, like, because. I'm a dude, like my brain for this stuff is like in one ear out the other and I can't remember who's due when and I'm just kind of like, where's the, like I know, like what, right. so I just keep yeah. checking in. For the record, Cody said no to Rad Raptor as the name of the child, but Dylan and Marissa, yeah, it's, 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 it's open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got a lot of dinosaur outfits. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> I mean. You want to, you know, dress him up as a little rapper? Yeah. You can do you that. Watch That's their, not it. You guys ever watch Community? I watched a couple episodes, but not a lot of it. I Our, couldn't get over how they didn't have higher education. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to get past so that show starts as like a straight up sitcom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then That's the, I only saw that is that. that is the Trojan horse that Dan Harmon used to get that show on TV, uh, and then he breaks down the medium constantly. But there is one episode where they meet someone who whose name is a corporate sponsorship. And oh, I did see part of that episode. And so, yeah, yeah the, the one of the main characters falls in love with this guy named Subway. <laughs> and their relationship has to conform to the corporate standards <laughs> that set apart by the show. It's pretty great. So, yeah, Brad, this is good. Like, right. Bricks is good, but Rad Raptor, yeah. even better name. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is Rad Raptor Radio. Uh, we do this thing that we just did with Banter Part, and then uh, every week we do. Uh, now you're breaking down the media. Right? Now I'm yeah. breaking down. Yeah. You're going through your checklist yeah. here right yeah. now. Uh, also, every week uh, we go over the comic books we read this week and uh, talk about our uh, favorite ones. I don't even have mine in front of me. Most of my like favorite books got uh, sold Ooh. sold up sold today. today. Um, they were good books. It was a really good week. It was a, it was a fantastic week. I honestly think my pick of the week, which is one that I'm going to be able to grab some of my other ones I read, but my pick of the week is one that is definitely not here, uh, which is Conan number two. That book was... In, I'm deeply impressed with like what Jason Aaron's doing with that book. Uh, we will have uh, second prints of both one and two coming the same week that uh, number three comes out, and thank goodness because like everyone today was like looking for that book, and I sold mine, and I I was you sold one I didn't have. I yeah I was I thought Bobby was I forgot to that. grab it. I know what I'm doing yesterday. tomorrow. I'm gonna <laughs> 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 go find Conan. All right, uh, but uh, so uh, my first knowledge of this book uh, came from like the Jason Aaron tweet uh, when he was just saying like. Uh, hey, this yep. is, if anyone's wondering if I'm the right guy to write Conan or not, he just showed this picture of just a pile of Robert E. Howard original Conan novels. Um, and I was like, that's kind of cool. Like, I wasn't I, I wasn't really, like, interested in this book in the slightest, but that's neat. And then I read uh, the number one the week. It was, it was Tim's pick of the week that week. Mm-hmm. Um, is is a really, really good book. Um, but it it set up this uh, greater storyline uh, that Tim's playing with that um, in that uh, Conan having a very Conan moment where he's like, oh, random lady, I'm going to sleep with her. And then she turns out to be like a scary witch uh, that that is actually just trying to trap him and use him to steal. 
And it was like, it was a good book. For Colin. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good book. I would struggle to say that first one was a great book that was doing anything beyond like what you would expect a regular Conan book to do. And even in things like that moment, like where it's like, you'd expect a 2018 book to not just have Conan going and having random sexual escapades and womanizing without there being some commentary other than like, ah, she was a witch, that's your comeuppance, like that's not, uh, that's not so great, but it was a, like, it was a really good paint by numbers Conan story and set up this larger, and Jason Aaron tweeted that day like, okay, so these are all going to be episodic and this greater witch storyline is what's going to be like, each, each of these 12 issues is kind of like going to hint towards it or like move it a little bit but largely each of these 12 issues are going to stand alone as a moment in Conan's life like a complete story and so I picked up this number two and uh, I was halfway through it I was kind of indifferent to it I was like all right this is more of what we got in the first one it's just typical Conan doing Conan stuff he's fighting giant snakes okay whatever um and then the whole uh story of the second one is this tale of like he is over across the river like basically participating he's supposed to be over there participating in genocide like there's this tribe that he's like over there completely that they're at war with his people are at war with but he's over there just wiping them out and he ends up getting overwhelmed by these snakes and they um, uh, end up incapacitating him, and the tribe has a chance to, like, kill him, uh, but they go, like, no, instead we're, we could use you. Like, we've got all these, like, crazy giant snakes running around, they're killing our people, like, you know, we can kill you right now still, but we want you, and so he becomes, he starts warring alongside their tribe, against the snakes and instead like Jason Aaron tells the story of like none of these people wanting to associate with him even because he was this guy that was slaughtering them and uh, slowly adapting to like actually becoming part of their culture and then after he does his job trying to go back to the culture that has turned them into like a faceless enemy that we that genocide is okay of and he's hearing those conversations. So it is, Damn it, now I'm going to have to find myself a copy. Yeah, it is incredible. <laughs> like, it was, like, and I was just re reading that going, like, this is freaking coded, okay? Like, yeah. this is uh, this is actually doing something beyond what a straight-up, and it what's great about it is it works as a straight-up Conan book, too. So it's doing those two things simultaneously, and then it handles, too, really well that, like, hint at, like, all right, um, we're going to advance that other story just a little bit, uh, which I thought was really cool and well done. The other thing that's cool about these is they're, as you're reading them, he is much like some of the, like, uh, books you read in, like, a Marvel universe or something that reference back to stuff. He's referencing, he's like, hey, if you'd like to know more about this tribe, go read this Robert E. Howard book, which is really, really yeah, cool for really that cool. Uh, to do, so... Um, and there's a continuing novella. There's prose in the back of each of these Conan books. That's like a new original Conan novella. It's it's really cool. Like I think Marvel's doing really well with this. I still wish that second series by Duggan wasn't coming next month. Yeah. Because I think it's going to ruin a good thing. But yeah. Yeah. Well, it sounds like the type of thing that he had. He's earned the right to do so he can do two things at once. Right. So, that's really cool. Um, <clears throat> my pick of the week, um, Tim said I had to pick this because he wasn't here, but uh, I would have picked it regardless. Um, this was the first thing I read, and I still, it's the best thing that I read, is uh, Firefly number three um, from Boom. This book, Tim picked one and two as his picks of the week, and it is still, it's an incredible book, right? So I think Tim and I are obviously massive fans of the um, series. Mm -hmm. um, so it is a book that is rewarding us um, as fans, um, but I th th the story is so good 
that I think even if you don't know uh, uh, a lot about the series, you would enjoy it. So basically, to give you the premise, what uh, Greg Pak is writing this book, he's playing with here is uh, Zoe and, and Mal, two of the main characters, the captain and the first officer of um, the uh, Serenity um, ship, they were involved in the, the unification war they fought on the independent side, mm -hmm. and they're basically now being tracked down by uh, this group of sort of uh, bounty hunters almost called the Unificators, um, mm -hmm. who are like trying to bring uh, people to justice for war crimes. So basically, Zoe and Mal are wanted for war crimes. And it keeps like flashing back to events that happened during the war, like Zoe and Mal are like, as they're going through the story like that's going on around them, they're, they're sort of suffering from PTSD almost. And in this, uh, this book, like, it has this really great turn that happens where Zoe and Mal, they, they capture like the head unificator, who you think is a, a bad guy, right? She's been traditionally constructed, this is the type of person that would be a bad guy in a book like this, right? But right before that, she's saved an innocent person. Um, and like they're, they're escaping and Zoe and Mal are in the back of this truck and um, um, what's her name? The mechanic. Oh, ca not Callie, what's her name? It starts with a K. Oh, I'm tired tonight. Yeah, I'm tired tonight too. Uh, the mechanic girl. Yeah, yeah. mechanic girl. Uh, is like, <laughs> but yeah, what, wait, like she just did a good thing. Is she a, is she a bad guy? Like, so it's playing with these things. Like Zoe and Mal are, cons are, we're supposed to think of them as heroes, but like they're becoming a lot more complex in this book. Like, and they hinted at it in the show, but it got canceled so fast that they never really got to play it out. And this idea of like, in this, this war that they're, they're living, it, in war, is it even possible to have good, good guys and bad guys? Right. And it's just, it's really well handled. Like I'm, the way I'm describing it, like it could come off as heavy handed, but it's really well handled. Like it sounds like them, right? It sounds like their voices and there's the, there's the action and there's the sort of like Western and space plot going on around them. And there's a massive twist with that at the end that's really cool. But it's dealing with these other themes in a way that I, f I find really engaging. But out of all the issues that have come out, this is the weakest. No, uh, I this is my so. favorite no. by far. I felt like yeah. they were trying to do too much with the story, and no. they had two different things with the people, the unifiers, coming after them and trying to capture them, plus with the rest of the crew trying to take these pilgrims on this planet and having the doing two different story yes, arcs but within a comic and flipping back and forth between different pages. There would be pages I'd have to go back and be like, all right, did I skip a page? No, no. they've skipped over to the other group. And so it just felt like But that's a what bit comics do. Yeah, that's what Tim and I felt like. That's what comics do. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. And they, it comes back together. Like bordering on a Batman argument. <laughs> <laughs> She's too. It, it comes back in a perfect. Yeah, you like have it, to because it comes back in a perfect way. Job, no, because at the Haley, 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 Haley. That's Haley. Thank you. Haley. That's Haley. why we do this live. <laughs> Thank you, Leonardo, who clearly watches Radio Firefly. <laughs> yes. See, this is why this book is so good. Um, but it brings it back together then because that other storyline, like it forces. Zoe and Mal like and the unit. I'm like, I don't like it, whatever. Who cares if they saved her? I just, I don't know. No. I don't feel like they, they you, you're making it sound like they create all this empathy for they her. They did. And stuff. I, like, okay, I felt so empathy know. for her. They, they, I, I did. Know. Like, I felt empathy for her. And they create, they well, show some it, of her past. I don't really past. think of it as a highbrow issue. I'm just reading it. I'm like, this is awesome. Or it is. Show. But that's my point about this book is that it is awesome. Like, there's lots of gunslinging and, and, uh, I just thought it was uh, awesome that Jane was mad he wasn't going to get yeah. the um, reward because he had... There's lots of gunslinging and there's, there's that and there's that world and there's, you know, a problem they have to solve on the planet. But th there there are those themes there, but there were in the show as well, right? And they bring it together at the end, right? They're, the other storyline, they're forced to People deal should with read together. this, but it is the weakest no, out of three. No, this is the best issue of the three. Fine. Hands down. Tim will agree with me when he reads it. Um, issue two is better. Great series. He now they shot each other at the but, end. That was a great. Uh, that was great. Yeah. This is a great book. Everybody should be reading this, regardless of whether they're into Firefly or not. Like one, two, and three are out. We're getting second prints as well of one because we're almost out of number one. Like I, I sent the guys this morning. Like you guys have to read this because like 
Tim and I are going to be talking it's about be this book of the year as book of the year, like legit, because this I, I tell, I love this book, and Tim loves this book too. Um, we buy all the covers, <laughs> and Tim and I never buy all the covers. Uh, you should read them. Leonardo they, they says he has home. the first two issues. He hasn't read them yet, though. They're really yeah. good. It's so it's now he needs to, so he can see who he reads with. <laughs> yeah, he does, <laughs> and, and the, the art is good. The the, the writing's real good. I. I, I love this book. This was an easy pick for me and Christy for me. <laughs> <laughs> the covers are really good for this. I'll give you that. There, did you see the Daniel Warren Johnson cover, Bobby? Mm-hmm. This one back there, I really like it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, my pick, because I'm next, right, Bobby? Yep. Yeah. You're last. You always want to go last. I'm going to go with Middle West. Um, I've number been, three. Yeah, number three. I've really been liking this series by Scotty Young, and the art is amazing, and this one uh. is... Disclaimer, the art is amazing because Scotty Young is not doing right. the art. Yeah, but... <laughs> Jorge Caruna is doing the art. I haven't read anything by Scotty Young before, right? I don't think I've read no. anything by Scotty Young, but I really like this. And so this one, number three, is getting to kind of... We've been just building up the plot, and now it's getting to be really interesting. Because the first one started off with this... With Abe, this kid who's main character, having some family conflicts with his dad and this giant tornado without giving too much away. And it's well, it's the first issue. We can spoil it. His dad... Is the tornado. ...becomes so angry that he turns into this tornado yeah. that chases Abe out of town. And so his dad's fully out of the picture, and he's coming back in in issue three. And it's just... We don't see it actually as much of Abe as we do his dad in this issue. And it's, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. In the process, Abe has this condition um, that he's trying to get solved. He doesn't know really what it is, but he's also dealing with his own anger issues. And so Scotty Young, without being really heavy-handed, is dealing with some kind of... Pretty serious stuff yeah, with Scotty Young. Stop yeah. interrupting me, by the way. Sorry. It's not your choice. Cool. It's my choice. But my big reason I really like it is I love the little fox that goes along with him. It reminds me of Calvin and Hobbes, and they're so funny together. The little fox that cuts us up a storm. And so he's just absolutely hilarious. And it's it's just it's a fun read. Everybody should be picking this up. So, I I yeah. l- like that book. I would definitively not call it a fun read, at least for me. It's I don't like dark. Highly triggering. Well, if you yeah. like it, highly darker, triggering. Yeah, it, it's a darker comic. It's not a happy, lighthearted read. But if you like a darker comic with some some sensitive themes, I think it's a fun read. <laughs> <laughs> It is the fox makes it fun. Yeah. So it changes everything. No. Yeah. See though, like I've read like I s- read the first two about it's a week terrible. ago. Yeah. And then I read this one, and I don't know how to feel about this. Like I like this book, but I didn't know if I wanted to be like, oh my god, you got to read this book. You know, it's like it's one of those kind of books, I guess. Like, it's I don't know. Good. I'm worried his dad's gonna come and, after him, and so yeah. it's very much um, like I think you should get on. It now had a pretty and, big you know, turn. Like this one was was like a big turning point, it's, right. but it's good. It's just I don't think this is a book everybody's gonna love. No, not everybody will know, love it. But I mean, I think it's it's just well, very it's cool. Love it, so <laughs> yeah. I never pick one though that everybody will love. So that, no, if you don't ever pick mine if you think it's a <laughs> universal <laughs> pick. Well, no, no, no. It's just it's 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 one of those things. It's just yeah. it's it's good, but it, like the whole time I read, I'm like, you kind of start thinking like, who could like this book? You know, and it's just, it's a different kind of book. I don't know how to explain Like, yeah. I think this one, though, if you kind of like the first two, this is the one that's going to, like, either yeah, make okay, you... Yeah, 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 yeah. Where this is, like, the first, like, really big I issue think, where it's, like, something is finally starting to happen. Yeah. The first two are kind of like, this is cool, but, like, where this we is, like, this. Journey and Natty Gan with this game, <laughs> yeah. you know, and... I think so. I feel and about there's this. There's a big mystery with who his mom is yes. too that keeps popping up that I think is really what I find compelling yeah. as well. I feel about this. I agree with Jeff. Like this book can be very tr- triggering. It's, it it is dealing with real issues of you know, anger and in in abuse and you know father son dynamics and relationships like in in a really honest way. I think I well, feel not just father son relationships. Yeah. I mean, I've read it and been triggered as a parent and as a mother figure with things that I'm like, oh my word, am I like this father figure? And so I yeah. think it can be any parent looking yes. at it and Agreed. thinking, did I go too far with my kid? But then you can look at it if you had a bad relationship with your parent and read it and be like, oh my word, um, this reminds me of my childhood. But 
I'm telling you, the box makes it funny and balances out the heaviness. Yes. And so I think it's a really brilliant comic. I feel about this book the way that Jeff feels about Oblivion Song. Like, I am in love with the world as much as I am anything else, right? That That's being created in, in the art. And there's a lot of, like, mysterious sort of semi-magical stuff going on that's not really explained readily or right away. And I really like that. Um, but I think it's, yeah, I think it's something not everybody will like, but it's a really well-executed book. I did, I did have the struggle with it, because I caught up today, and it's a weird way in which using magical realism as a stand-in mm-hmm. for, like, abuse of, like, oh, the dad turned into a tornado, and, like, it weirdly sets up an excuse situation where, like, I was, as, as someone that where it, like, was triggering for, it was like, I don't want to hear that you were just a tornado. Like, you're an asshole, okay? Like, yeah, I just, you know, like, uh... Seems like, well, the dad's got, like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, like, I, I see that, but, like, the dad, too, though. I mean, there's certain Morris things with the dad too. where, you know, he's, like, he's trying to take the fun out of being a man in a lot of ways, too. You know, I mean, well, not, I mean, not the, that not first the part, and I, like, not as far as, like, you know, an Well, the first issue, he steals something. I mean, he yeah, legitimately you know, does something And I mean, wrong. and he's right. like, look, you know, you took this job, you need to get your ass out of bed right. and do this job. He's, oh, he's legitimately you're, frustrated. Yeah, you're yeah, dicking yeah. around with your friends, now you got caught stealing. I mean, these are all things that kids do. Yeah. And you're seeing a dad that is a strict parent and saying, you know, like, don't do this shit. And granted, you know, he blows up, it goes way too far. But it's a comic book, so, I mean, we got to have some kind yeah. of story. Like, it's not like we're playing The Sims here. <laughs> but, you know, right. but it's, it's, there's a lot of real-life things that almost yeah. everybody can relate to and with like, this book. And the yeah. thing is, it's like, in a way, yeah, I mean, you know, it's going to trigger people. It's, gonna, it's something you're reading, though. Yeah. Like, it's an entertainment book. And it's... And what I like with issue three is we know the father abusive, whatever, but he loves his son, and while I don't know if I want him to find his son, he, he clearly feels at some level remorse, even if he's never going to change, which is the complexity of any relationship that people have, which I thought was really cool and complex uh, that I he like wrote that in, um, because he could have just made him a really one-dimensional, angry dad, strict dad, and he didn't do that. Well, look, at, we all have kids. How often are all of us assholes to our kids? And no, we're like, never. God, I feel horrible about that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, yeah. You know, it's, I mean, it's probably going to turn out to be a really, really good, long, you know, oh, short, I, whatever this is going to be. Like. I mean, as much as Firefly is, is jokingly talked about as, like, folks will be talking about them, like, I have a feeling this one will be there, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, no, that was a good, long conversation generated from... From one book. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Which we don't ever talk time. about books too long. Never. Ever. <laughs> ever. Yeah. And you're about right. to pick another really good one. Right? <sighs> or you can't decide... <laughs> I want to this week. I really want to this week. Like this is probably um God. Um fuck. This is your perpetual dilemma. Yeah, right? These are I mean we you read for like you forty-five minutes those. before we came over. Um shit. I'll just do it. Um I'll take Venom as my pick this week. Um this is probably the week I got a 1A, 1B for my pick, but I'll take Venom. Um, I don't know why they do that to you. My, they didn't used to come out the same week. Well, and it never fails, like, because Gideon kind of falls every once in a while on a different week, mm-hmm. and it's always with something else I really like. Um, no, this was, uh, it's been kind of slow. Like, Venom's been a little bit slow, but it's been kind of building what Eddie's going through with because Venom all of a sudden is just quiet, and Venom's a dog following him around, just kind of like more or less to let Eddie know that he's there. Um, and, you know, we got introduced. Eddie ended up at his dad's. He doesn't really even know how he got there. Finds out he has a brother. And now he's dealing with, you know, he, he has dinner with his brother and. He's just really trying, like, his, this little brother is, like, cool because he's trying to figure out why, you know, he's all starstruck that his brother's Venom. And they're trying to talk about certain things, and, and 
and I don't, I don't know if they talked about the dad too much and what the brother wants to do in the last issue. Did they bring that up, or is that just a missed one? No, that was the last. In the, the last, last thing. issue, he's like, "You gotta help me kill my dad." Right, right. and well, so okay, I don't want to spoil it, but, um, but that's the thing is, you know, and Eddie's like, "Why do you? Why do you want me to kill dad?" And all of a sudden, the the first arc comes back really big in this. The first arc comes back. The second arc, the character from uh, what do they call him, the Master? Yeah, the shows evil back up. Yeah, thing. yeah, he shows back up, and it's like, oh shit! And then the end, there's a really big, big bombshell that happens on the very last page. Um, little Donny Cates special there as usual, but uh, it's just it, it's still kind of going slow. But this is like a really deep Venom issue. It was really good. Um, and it's just, it's good. Like, it's good. Like, I think it's going to start picking up the pace here. Um, I think one thing that I, I'm sure a lot of people are thinking about it, but it hasn't really got mentioned, is Null is this symbiote god. At some point, we're going to have to get a symbiote devil. <laughs> and I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I like that idea. You know, like, at some point, like, it's got to happen, I would think. Um, I don't know that's the direction this is going but the guy keeps I showing up and maybe I think it very well could be yeah. um but uh this is um this is really good this week like it's I think it's about like you know I think it's gonna start picking up um in this book like I know they gotta give Stegman a break every once in a while oh man but this book's so much better when Stegman draws it um I don't know it, it, this is really good I, I know Venom's not a hard sell so I, I'm sure, I don't know what's left of this. There's probably quite a bit of good this week. Um, again, my two were really close. I could have went either way. but um, And it dives into some of Eddie's past, too. Like, those scenes really get... The, I really like those those frames where it's in the past and Stegman does this thing where it's like in sort of like sepia tones. Like, it's, it's you know, old-timey, like, photo photography. And those get really good. It's good. Like it's it's really good. Like it's gonna be. There's some characters here that I think are gonna be here to stay for a while. And I don't know. I mean, I think the Venom dog's actually kind of cool. <laughs> you know, like I mean, as, as weird as it is, I think it's kind of cool. But um, this is really good. What's cooler, the Venom dog or the, the middle the last fox? fox? God, that fox is cool. Though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that fox is just like that. Man, we're about to get fucked up. You know? Yeah. Like, you know, but no, this is like again. Venom, always good read. It's 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 picking back up again. So. All right. Uh, my next thing I want to talk about is Amazing Spider-Man thirteen. Um, I was really really happy to see this arc uh, come to an end because this was probably my least favorite arc since the whole the run of Spider-Man started, um, and I this kind of brought me back in like I actually it was good. yeah it wrapped up extremely well um, it did rely I think a little little too much on like having either having a back knowledge of Spider-Man stuff like really random Spider-Man stuff or just taking it on faith that the stuff Nick Spencer was presenting happened I was like sure all right cool um, and uh, because I didn't have that, that knowledge going into it. But I thought it was actually handled really well in the position that, um, I don't want to spoil any, everything, how it wrapped up, but the stuff that they put even J. Jonah Jameson through in this, um, there uh, at the end of this, it, it's pretty, pretty clever. Um, See, like, I mean, I really think, though, you know, this is like that whole Spidey back to the roots like you know I, I think that's kind of what it's going to it's you know Mary Jane they took the first arc and made you know Peter and Mary Jane like the focus mm -hmm. and then they focus on Jane you know Jonah J. Jonah on this one and I don't know I, I didn't think it was that bad uh, I, I think we got a little bit overwhelmed with Spider-Man there for a few weeks with so all the spider get like in, and then this was yeah, coming out. Like there was so much, but I mean, it wasn't as strong as the first stuff. But I didn't think it was that bad. 
And I, I like how it ended. It ended extremely strongly. Yeah. Like, um, as someone who is, like, I picked up, and usually Spider-Man is one of the first things I read, and when I saw this movie, I was like, because I just, I haven't enjoyed this art very much. Um, and so I went in with low expectations. I was actually pretty pleased. You know? I was yeah, like, oh, this is really good. good. I mean, on a no. week that wasn't no. this strong, I think this is Maybe a nice it was pick. because it came out every week, and this was one of my least favorite parts, and I love Spider-Man, so I just was really tired. But I read this first to get it over with, and yeah. because I knew it would be the end of the run, and I wanted to go on to the next story, because I don't even know why they brought J. Jonah Jameson back, because I didn't think he was that essential oh, to he's the essential. way the spider Well, yes, but to the history of Spider-Man, yeah. but I didn't see him being oh. necessary to bring into the current story arc at all, even... I get, we, you know, we're trying to reestablish, you know, these are important people in the Spider-Man world, these are important figures that we want people to remember as they're reading it, but I didn't even feel he was that necessary to bring back in. Um, he's not a journalist currently. He, that guy doesn't even work with him anymore. Uh, I just, and I, I like s- journalism with Superman but and see, stuff, I, I don't really, like it with that. I really like him here. So they, they put him in the position of, like, there's... There's this guy who puts him in the position of, like, killing Spider-Man and is like, see, I'm doing... I did doing like that part, that, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, that stuff's really good where he's like, he's like, hey, I'm doing this because of the stuff you said. And, like, I believe... Because he used to be this shock right. journalist that had a very... Ang- and we're in a time where it's, like, news is this very angled thing. And he's face-to-face with the consequences of his sensationalist journalism that that got ratings. He's face to face with that of just like someone who buys into it and is committing violent acts because of that. And then he decides against it. And then by the end we see the consequences of like he's losing his show and he's yeah. losing his thing because he's making the right choices. And so like if he was committed to the sensationalist news path, he would have career success but because he's making good choice i thought that stuff was really compelling and really good and saved what was kind of a mediocre art to me i can buy that i still this is not my favorite spider-man art mm-hmm. it sort of felt like see jonah run i can but, help you yeah. get away for a while i did however get to use the rap rhyme j jonah jimmy in my rap <laughs> today. yes you did uh and so it was worth it for that alone and you also slipped in a uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg reference. I did. Oh, I did have a Ruth Bader pretty Ginsburg clever. joke. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you're super excited yeah. to watch this video, Bobby. All right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, eating breakfast and doing rap videos. Yep. Yep. There's literally a shot of him drinking coffee straight from the, what is it called? The, co- the yeah. coffee pot. Coffee pot. The best was like, so I, I did a shot of me in the shower singing because I thought that was funny. And then I was like, oh man, this is going to get flagged on Facebook. So then I'm like cropping it as much as I can. <laughs> and then I'm like, wait, I'm wearing mirrored shades. And then I'm like, can I see anything in the mirrored shades? Good thing. Showers get foggy, fog the mirrored shades up. You can't, you can't see anything you're not supposed to see. All right, um, I'm going to talk about Superman next, which I told Jeff uh, when we were doing Seriously, polls. I didn't see the any other- of these at home. Where did you <laughs> well, I took some of them with me because we went our separate... Okay, I'm going to settle this one. We had a separate ways to see me. I was yeah, running kids around. Yeah, but last you left me a whole stack of them, yeah. and the stack was like... Super, super no, tiny. We had, and one of them were we had you equal. Left me Spider-Man we and had like equal bags, right? No, you Today, did not we did. equal. We had equal bags, and we were running around all day in separate places. Like you had your bag of mine. Like I read while I was in the doctor's offices, right? And you had all your things, and like you read for like the hour before you came here. We had like twenty books this week between us. Superman, Superman. really good. I told Jeff the other day, the book that quietly got good, and actually I'm going to say it, has been better than action. Um, Because here's what happened, right? The thing that made Man of Steel, the miniseries, good for me was the family dynamic between Clark and Lois and John. Yeah. Right? At the end of Man of Steel, 
Lois and John fly off the space with, with Jor-El, right? And we're sort of have the, the first five issues of this are just Superman and the Justice League and the Phantom Zone. Mm -hmm. It wasn't particularly successful because it doesn't really play to Bendis' strengths, right? Last issue, um, at the end, Superboy shows back up, but he's aged. Like, even though only three weeks have passed on Earth, right, um, he's aged like seven years. And so it's like, it, it's the shock. And so they have the reunion with, um, with Clark, and then um, Clark takes him to meet Lois, and uh, we sort of have this moment here where Lois doesn't know that John is back, and she's sort of like <laughs> trying to <laughs> entice him, and like Superman has to cover John's eyes. Wow. This is pretty great. Lois has been like, yeah, you know, yeah, heroes, right? heroes, like, heroes last couple issues, all of a sudden Lois is like, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. So, and then, um, so we have we have this reunion, um, and then it sort of flashes back, and John like sort of try starts to tell the story. She dyed your hair red on him, did he, in Superman? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, in Heroes, they were sort of going for like an Auburn color. Yeah, that's true. So yeah. anyway. Um, <laughs> All right. Good to ask soon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, so John starts to like flash back and tell like yeah. the story of what what happened um, in space with with Jor El, um, and it sort of leads to a conclusion that I think is it sets up like a really interesting conflict like uh, for for this uh, second this second arc. So I I um, was about ready to drop this. Um, what? No, you. Well, okay, I was about ready to drop this from the things I read. Okay. Um, <laughs> Put it that way, but I I'm all back on board. I really liked issue six. That was issue six was probably the, my favorite thing I read the week it came out. Um, this I really enjoyed as well. The art I will just say um, Ivan Reese is is one of the best things about this book. Um, it's just perfect for a Superman book. So yeah, I really enjoyed this. And I'll talk about Catwoman, which I almost picked instead of. Yeah. I loved Catwoman, and Joel Jones isn't doing the art for this. Uh, she's just doing the story, but the art is still really good. Um, I am speculating wildly about mm -hmm. what is happening with this. I, I, I don't think he's giving anything away because the what is it called, like fishy something part one, the penguins in it essentially. This yeah. is setting up a story arc with her and the penguin, and so. Because the Penguin was just in Batman in 58-59, which is why I have it in front of me, I'm like, maybe there's a connection, because they were talking about lost love between him and Bruce. And so maybe, you know, he made, he realized at some level that Bruce was lonely, and he's gone out to tell Catwoman that, you know, she has to get her butt in gear, and she has to at least call him or something. So, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I think you're ascribing an order and reason to Tom King's Batman that simply is not there. Well, I would like to hope there is. And like Bobby thought hope. we would make it through a whole episode without discussing Batman. I'm sorry. No, we, no, we have to talk. No, that's... I so, came this week because a good Batman book comes out. Yeah, yeah. but maybe, maybe they'll be connecting at that's some point. That's the other thing. So maybe, I don't know why oh, you're looking for but I, I'm hoping at some point they legitimately connect, like Tom King and Joel Jones connect it, and I don't know. I'm probably thinking... Way too early that there's going to be starting to be a connection between yeah, these two series. Anything Tom King. Yeah. But yeah. Well, both, both books do have the same. Well, I'll start right. taking over and writing because I have this <laughs> massive plot of how they two should probably be connecting. So I, here, th that book's incredible. It largely just hey, look who's here. Starts up. Uh, hey Tim. Uh, I picked Firefly Tim. Uh, <laughs> we we didn't just dump on Batman. <laughs> uh, the, so that that book's incredible, and largely just gets you to them together in a room, and so you yeah. you're cutting back and forth between uh, her and Penguin as we're getting to that meeting, and we don't know what's going to come of it. Yet. And the other villain isn't gone either. There's still flashbacks. No, no, no. Her, she's, she's still she's she shows picture. up in a super creepy yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah uh, she's, she's like nightmare creepy. I but know. it's like. Bobby, you should be reading this book. It's great. You're not reading there, this, Bobby? No. I just hate Catwoman. There How could you hate Catwoman? There is a... Can't do it. Just there is it. a moment in this book that is a... If we do a moment of the year category next year, it's an early and easy nomination for it, which is... 
there's this moment, Bobby, where, like, Penguin gets picked oh, up. Oh, yeah, that's totally awesome, yeah. Bobby. I'll pull it up. He, he, he gets it. picked up uh, from the airport by one of those guys that's just holding up, like, a cobble pot sign. And it's a limo driver well, that like, just will not shut up. And so he's blabbering on, blabbering, and you just see silent <laughs> panels of, like, Penguin in the back. Just pissed. Just, just yeah. pissed. Yeah. And all of a sudden, yeah. he's just like, pull over, pull over. <laughs> and then he pulls over, and just, like, he pulls and the guy's like, around. why? Why do you need to pull over? Yeah. And, bang, and then just look at this. Look at all the blood from the head. It's so, it comes out of nowhere. Oh, my so God. I'm, the message I'm getting this is Jeff's favorite moments in comic books are when someone pulls out a gun unexpectedly and there's lots of blood. Gratuitous. That was your favorite moment last uh, week, Unexpected, too. gratuitous violence yeah. Yeah. is pretty great. New thing. Okay. Yeah, that's a real... See, yeah. I was trying to ascribe meaning to that. Was like, was, did the penguin know him? Why didn't he just randomly shoot him? And no, he was he just was, pissed off. Yeah, he just talked. You've never wanted to shoot your Uber driver because they won't shut up? No, I just wanted them to be quiet. Oh, okay. Well, so did he. So <laughs> he took care of it. He's quiet now. <laughs> Hi, Tim. Yeah, why don't you just skip out on us? Yeah. Mean. Sorry, right. moon pies. I want a moon pie still. And bring back moon pies. I said a burger cookie. We have burger cookies tonight. Are you good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. No, you're fine. Um... <laughs> Gideon Falls this week. Did you get to read this? I know you read it. I read it. Did you read? Uh, you're messing out. I wasn't allowed to, Andrew, because that oh, one God, took me too. Right. Well, Andrew, quit hiding books. I know, I'm terrible. Uh, no, this book was, holy shit, this book was good this week. Like, there is so many new things going on with this. Like, I don't it's really, hard to I, describe I, this book. Yeah. Like those panels where they've got like the twisting, the twisting arcs yeah. coming down together. I mean, it is. This book is so good. If this keeps up, this will be book of the year again. <laughs> no, I, I say not. Like this book is like the shit that's going on in this right now is unbelievable. No, I, need I mean, a, it is. I need to catch up. I mean, like, and that I that little spend, like, break this week just that they took on this book. I mean, this book is just going a hundred miles an hour plus right now. It is. It did have the best B cover it's probably had yet this week too. It's see, I, the thing is though, I love the A covers too. Like, yeah, I love yeah. all the covers that they've done for this book. They've all been great. really good. Um, I really like the idea that we thought it was going to be a map that went together in the beginning, and shocker, we were wrong. Yeah. Um, but no, this is because when Norton, when they go and they they find the. The, 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 like the door to the barn. The door yeah. to the barn when they find like the, the, the dump scene. Yeah, that there. dump scene, yeah. And then like it picks up and the cop and her dad and the priest, like the way these storylines are, I mean, you knew it was going to happen. It's happening. Like yeah. they're coming together and they, you know, the priest. We were trying to figure out how big of a character the priest was going to be from the start, and mm-hmm. it's becoming more and more clear that it's going to be him and, and Norton. And did I call him Norton earlier? I think it was it's Norton. It's, it is Norton. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but the way that they're, they're coming together is just, it's really cool. Like it, it's just sitting back and reading this. This is. This is gonna be. I think it's gonna be a TV show, not a movie. I, I think. I think it has yeah. been an uh, option as a TV show. Because it's. Because yeah. it just be makes movie. no. There's. No, there's too. No there's too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and like, there is so much. I don't know how people can't like this book. It's really, really and, good. And it, it's just. I don't know. It, it's. I don't not make so like many it. Things I just. Spend. I'm purposely, waiting for it to I, pile up because yes. I. That's how I want to consume this yeah. book. I, I cannot do this book month to month. There's personally. too much for me if I don't read it month to month to like oh digest God, between just... the art and everything that I'm trying to get well, in each issue. It's one of the longer reads. I can't read that quickly. I'm going to read it both ways because like I think there's something to what Jeff is saying. I actually am looking forward when this is all said and done to just like going back and consuming yeah. it all together, like and noticing things along the way and stuff because it's there's so much going on so many little details. Well, and with all of a sudden his name 
popping up, popping up, and both yeah. worlds, and it's just. And have you noticed over the past few issues how like these different characters in different times and places they look similar to mm -hmm. each other? Oh, yeah. Like there's so many little things right. going well, on. Well, and then yeah. like the shit that happens with with the the sheriff's dad this week. Yeah. And I, this book is so good. I I mean I, like you said, I don't know if this keeps going like this. Is this could easily be book of the year again? Like it's. It's so good. Like, it is just, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't even know if there's a better book. I mean, I don't read many books, <laughs> but I, I, I don't think there's many books I read or have ever read that have held my attention like this does. Yeah. I mean, this is just, this, this book is great. Like, I, I think by now everybody that I talk to that comes in here, I'm not here very much anymore, but... I think I've got a lot of people that appreciate this book back when it first started, and if you guys should be throwing this at some anybody that hasn't read this yet, I mean this is this is a great book. Like, this is just such a good book. I mean, it, just to make you question as much as this book does, and when, when you see it all come together and it does it all in such a cool way, yeah, it's it's, it's just I love well, this book. It's weird because we're having that conversation with it, and it's not. It's not at a point anymore where it's an easy on ramp. Right. So it's like, what do you do with a book like this that you still feel like people should be reading? And you, it's not like you can start at issue ten, but no. you start no. ordering closer pulls because that's what you do with a book like this. Well, but you all also like, yeah. it feels like kind of a disservice. Well, that's to do the thing. That, I mean, it's, it's very. I mean, it, it's on ten. It's going to be really easy to catch up on. It's got to get more crazy. You yeah, know, yeah. and it. I, I, I mean, this could. This arc's done. Maybe, maybe it's a book club. Yeah, it's oh yeah, definitely sure. be a book I mean, yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that. Because I mean, yeah. I don't know. I think it'd be really cool to hear everyone's take on a lot of the stuff that's going on in this. Because it's just cool. I mean, there's a lot of things that you can think on your own from this, and right. And it's cool because everything I always think on this is always ends up being wrong. But you know. I mean, talk about a book that shouldn't be good uh, by any <laughs> any stretch of any of it. This book shouldn't exist. It's uh, from it, the page of Dark from Knight's the pages Metal. of Dark Knight's Metal, uh, which is like one of the worst comic book things to have happened in the last few years. Great, great idea, just not like super great ex execution. Um, so <laughs> they did this. This is the Batman Who Laughs number two. Uh, they did this thing. The idea of Bat. Batman Metal was this kind of cool idea of like what if you went to every multiverse where Batman turned evil and you brought those Batman back to fight the Justice League. It was kind of a neat idea. Um, wasn't executed super well. Uh, the character that seems to have stuck the most is the Batman who laughs. Uh, that particular Batman uh, killed the Joker in his universe. And found out that Joker had like, uh, like a uh, a last defense built in him that when you kill him, he explodes with Joker toxins that, like, basically turns whoever killed him into him. Um, and so that's what happened to this, the Batman who laughs is that he, uh, basically uh, killed Joker and turned into the Joker, but with like Bruce Wayne's like and ability to get stuff done in some way. I don't, I don't know. What, do you also want to get a tribute to Bruce Wayne there? Again, but it shouldn't work, but... This yeah. book is so good. <laughs> Holy crap. I, there, it's, well, we got another Batman out of this. Not the Batman who laughs, but we ended up with... The, the Punisher two, Batman. Yeah, the, the, Batman Knight. Knight. the Grim Knight. Yeah, there's yeah. going to be a one-shot on him. Which is you know, also silly, but like that's not the stuff that makes this book good, though. It's that the actual execution of it unlike metal, like, somehow is freaking great when you just find out that, like, they're, they're grabbing this body, and it's Bruce Wayne, and they're like, oh, it's another Bruce Wayne body? The guy's just grabbing Bruce Wayne's from other multiverses and just leaving them dead for Batman to find, and, like, Bat he's having to, like, fake the fact that, like, he's like, why is it Bruce Wayne's? All like, Commissioner Gordon's like, why does he keep picking Bruce Wayne's? And 
Sam is like, I don't know. You know? <laughs> like, he's having to, like, think through that stuff. But he's also, uh, this Batman in this whatever universe we're following here did a similar thing and killed the Joker. And so he had that thing happen. So he's on a ticking time bomb. But he's got, like, every single Joker antitoxin, like, put in him so he can, like, muster through, like, getting through. This book's so dumb. It is so <laughs> dumb and beautiful and wonder. Like, I don't know why it exists. I don't know why it's good. It annoys me that it's good, but it's cool. I didn't read two. I did read one, and I did not expect to enjoy it in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. But it was good. Yeah. I think this one's better than the first one. Even. Yeah. You know, it, it's, I don't know, I kind of, it's a cool character, but it's like, why does he need a book? I, I, yeah. I don't know. And, and, yeah. and then again, like, we have another Batman out of this, so now we're going to have, you know, another, to add another 12th Batman book every month, but yeah. it's good. This is about one of the only things that Scott Snyder's wrote that I actually like. <laughs> you know, well, this, I mean, I, granted, I missed the new 52, I guess. Yeah, this part. argues back to like why I like Scott Snyder stuff. Uh, yeah. I think that's fair. Yeah, yeah, I think that's why it works. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right. Um. I want to talk about. I'm the only person who reads this book. Um. At some point, I'll pause uh, here and catch up with you. But Days of Hate uh, wrapped up this week uh, with its twelfth issue, so it's gonna only have twelve issues. So it's a, the final issue. This made my personal top ten. Uh, for last year. Uh, this is by um, Alice Cott, who's uh, a, a Czech writer who's, he's just been really putting out great stuff this year. Um, but basically this, this takes place in sort of a near future dystopian America 